Hello everyone and welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel. Kaushal this side and I hope you guys are doing well. Today we'll be taking a look at phrase tags in HTML. We'll go through what phrase tags are and the syntax of some basic phrase tags present in HTML. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon to never miss any updates on programming videos. So without any further delay, Let's get started. In HTML, a phrase tag is used to give structural meaning to a block of text. What does that mean? Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. We'll first take a paragraph for this example, a small one maybe. So let's do it here. What we'll do is we'll write here P. So we are going to use the paragraph tag. Let's write something over here. So let's say we are writing over here. Hello everyone. And then I'll write this is caution and let's suppose we are writing over here we subscribe to a YouTube channel fine save this and you can see here that we have the same paragraph here on the browser now what we said earlier about the phrase tags is they are used to give structural meaning to a block of text, right? So here we have a paragraph and we want to provide meaning to a block of text. Let's say we want to put some emphasis on the word YouTube over here. Fine. We want this word to stand out differently from the rest of the paragraph. For this task, we have the emphasize tag in HTML. The syntax for this tag goes like this. So what we'll do is we'll cut this sentence into two different parts so that it will be easy for you guys to understand. Now, we have the emphasize tag in HTML. The syntax is pretty simple. What we have to do is we'll write over here. So we are going to make changes inside this particular paragraph tag only. So we are going to use the emphasis tag over here. So what we have to do is we have to cut the word YouTube from here and we have to paste it here. Now the syntax is so simple. We have a two word tag. So it says EM. It stands for emphasis. Now save the program and you can see here in the browser, you can see the difference. Basically the word YouTube stands out from the rest of the words present in the paragraph. To lay some more emphasis on the word YouTube, we can use the title attribute. Now title attribute will be used inside the emphasis tag. So let's do it here once. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the title attribute over here. So let's say the title says check a YouTube channel. Fine. So let's break it a little more. So here you can see we have these three lines. So inside this paragraph tag what we are doing is we are using the emphasis tag and inside that emphasis tag, we are using the title attribute. Fine. On saving the program, you can see nothing changes over here on the browser. To witness the change here, we have to take our mouse cursor over YouTube. And you can see we have a small pop up here that contains the value of a title attribute. Let me zoom in a bit here. So here you can see on taking the mouse cursor, we have this small pop up with the value of a title attribute, right? Another thing we can do for this task is we can add a link over here on the word YouTube. We'll discuss it in the upcoming videos when we'll go through text links in HTML. So you guys will understand it much better then. Now, you guys may have a question in your mind that we can do this exact same thing with formatting tags as well, right? Yes, of course we can do that. But formatting refers to the process of molding the text for a better look and feel of the text while phrase tags are used to provide meaning to a block of text. It's not necessary that if a tag falls under the category of formatting tags, then it can't be a phrase tag. The difference lies in the purpose of using that particular tag. I hope you guys are getting it. The next tag we are going to discuss is the mark tag. We have already discussed this tag in the formatting tags as well. So let's discuss it one more time. The mark tag in HTML is used to mark any particular text. The text will be highlighted with yellow color. So we have discussed it previously. Now what we are going to do is we are going to copy this piece of code. So we are going to copy the whole paragraph from here and then we'll paste it here. Now instead of using the emphasis tag, we are going to use the mark tag over here. Fine. 
so we are going to change the tag name from emphasis to mark for the opening and closing tag save it now and you can see we have another paragraph over here which is almost the same or which is exactly the same it says hello everyone this is caution please subscribe to our youtube channel now the thing to notice here is the word youtube it is highlighted in yellow color right so the title attribute will work same over here as well if we put our mouse cursor over the word youtube you can see we have this pop up with the same title value right so one thing to notice here is the title attribute is basically the differentiator between the formatting tags and the phrase tags it means that the tag remains the same but the way of using it defines the purpose so let's move ahead and we'll now discuss the abbreviation tag in html the word abbreviation in general terms refers to the short form of a word that's it we have the answer here if you are using any abbreviation for any word we want the user to know that this particular word has a special meaning then we can use the abbreviation tag so the syntax goes like this what we will do is we'll again use the same paragraph and we'll paste it over here again so what we are going to do is we are going to remove this empty space from here so that you guys will be able to see the whole code or as much code as possible so what we are going to do now is we are going to use the abbreviation tag fine so we'll remove this piece of code from here we have to put this over the word youtube so what we are going to do is we are going to write here abbreviation and inside there we are going to write yt so this is the short form of youtube basically now save the program and you can see that we have another paragraph but there's no difference over here as of now the word is simple there's it's not standing out basically right so this is because while using the abbreviation tag we must necessarily use the title attribute along with this tag so let's do it here we have to write here title and we have to write here youtube because yt stands for youtube so we are going to write here youtube now save the program and you can see here that the abbreviation yt is now underlined with a dotted line fine this indicates that the word yt is used as an abbreviation here and the user will know that something is different over here on taking the mouse cursor over it you can see we have the value of our title attribute you can see it says youtube so this is basically the short form of youtube yt over here now the next tag we are going to discuss is the address tag this tag is used to display the address in the web browser the content is written within the opening and closing address tag is considered as an address in html so this is the address we generally use fine not an ip address or nothing else the general address we use for our location or for a address so let's use this tag over here we'll write here address and this is the tag now inside this tag we are going to write youtube office let's say and then we have one two three street so this is going to be the street name for our address and then we have let's say sector so let's say the sector is four five six and then we have the place name as noida and the country name as india fine so this is an address and let's save the program you can see here the difference in the browser the address tag over here has a different font this tag is used to indicate that this particular block of text is an address so you can see it over here this is our address now if you want to see it clearly let me remove these three paragraphs from here save the program now and you can see we have address over here so if you want to write it in different lines so what we can do is we can use the break tag over here then over here again save the program and you can see we have the address over here the font is different that's the only difference between address tag and other tags the next tag we are going to discuss is the short quotation tag this tag is used to add double quotes within a sentence the syntax is simple so what we'll do is we'll write something over here let's say we are writing over here paragraph we are writing over here let's say again please subscribe to a now we want the word youtube inside double quote 
steps right so for that we are going to use the quotation tag this is the syntax we have to write simple q and we have to put the word youtube inside it fine then we'll write here channel and we have to put a space over here save the program and you can see it says please subscribe to our youtube channel with youtube present inside double quotes fine so the last tag we are going to discuss in today's tutorial is the code tag in html this tag is used to represent programming code in html the text will look like we have any code from a programming language for example we'll write here code this is the tag now inside there we'll write let's say we are using a for loop in javascript so we'll write here for i is equals to zero and then we have i less than three so let's give some spaces over here and then we have i plus plus fine then after this we have inside here console.log and we are going to print hi fine so if you are new to this language just ignore it it's just a simple piece of code from javascript so save it now and you can see we have this code over here now what we are going to do next is we are going to use break tag over here first then we'll understand it fine so we are going to use the br tag here again and here again fine save it now and you can see the code now you can see we have the same output on the browser as the text present in vs code the font is exactly the same so this represents a piece of code in html we can use the code tag for that so guys these are some of the basic phrase tags we discussed in today's video as we mentioned earlier that the list is quite long for all these tags we'll discuss them in future whenever we use them i hope you guys got it so that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we'll go through meta tags in html if you enjoyed watching this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below and we'll be happy to help you please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you